to do um, a candy girl look I had this like bright pink wig and um, someone on my Facebook page oh by the way thank you for this idea someone was like oh you should do like a candy girl look so that's what I'm doing I, th I got really excited because I was like oh my gosh I could do candy girl eyes or something and like oh my gosh it's gonna look so pretty so I need to get lollipops too Oh my gosh um so the eyes they're just like a whole bunch of candy swirls like mesmerizing like these candy lollipops and there's like swirls I don't know if you can see it from that far away but you shall see it in the video so um yeah I hope you guys enjoy this look and um if you guys visit my blog at linamariax3.blogspot.com I will post where I got this wig and all the makeup that I used and including where I got these mesmerizing, hypnotizing lollipops. So I hope you guys enjoy this look and just keep watching to know how to do it. First I'm going to take Painterly from MAC and put this all over my eyelid. To achieve this look I'll be using Makeup Forever's Flash Palette. Using the green you want to create a sort of half circle on your eyelid. Now taking the yellow, you're going to create a half circle inside that half circle. Now basically for the rest of the look, you're just going to create curves on top of what you created first. Using the green again, I decided I just want to make that green line a little thicker. We're also going to put this on top of all the other colors we created, so that half circle thing and also the V. switch up the colors, I'm going to take a pink and put this on the inner corner of the green we just did. Don't worry if this part looks messy because it's not going to look like this in the end. I decided I wanted some more pink, so I created another line. Using the yellow again, I'm going to put this on the outermost part of what we have done so far. Just adding more color, I'm going to take the blue and create another line. Now with the yellow, I'm going to put this on top of what we have done before as well as under the brow bone. Then I'm going to go in with the pink and put this next to the yellow but not completely to fill up underneath. With the pink and the blue, I'm going to put this on the innermost part under my eyebrow. Make sure to blend it in together nicely. Now 
now we're just going to go over what we have done before with the same colors and retrace everything just to make the colors a little bit more vibrant. Don't forget about some color under your waterline. First I put yellow in the inner corner of my eye. Then I put some green. And then blue. And finally some pink. Now take whatever palette you have or any eyeshadows that match the colors we have used before. You're going to pack this onto those colors to make the colors more vibrant and to also stay on longer since we used a cream before. glue and put a little bit on your brush. Then you just want to pat that on top of the eyeshadow that you have done before. Dip your brush into some glitter and then you want to put this on top of the eyeshadow. You don't want too much, just a little bit of shine and sparkle. Using your favorite black eyeliner, I'm using Smolder from MAC. You want to line the top of your eyelid, create the cat eye look just a little bit though, not too much, and also line your waterline. Then you also want to create the cat eye look on the inside corner of your eye. Now take a blue glitter eyeliner and line over everything you just did in black except for your waterline. Now take your favorite mascara and put mascara on your top eyelashes and your bottom eyelashes as well. Now go get your fake eyelashes, put some glue on them, wait 30 seconds for the glue to get tacky and put them on for that nice sexy look. Now take a brown eyeshadow and an angled brush, well, if you're a brunette, and define your eyebrows. This is what your eyes should look like so far. Now take a bright pink blush, and I also mix it in with a little bit of brown, and apply this to your cheeks. Now apply a bold pink lipstick. Use a brush to make everything more precise. On top of the lipstick, put on a chapstick. Now since your lips are a little bit sticky from the chapstick, you could pack on a purple eyeshadow. To top it off, I'm putting on a metallic light pink lipstick. our whole finished look. Don't forget about the lollipops! So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I thought it was so much fun to do and I was so excited because I was like, oh my god, I look like a candy girl. Like, I wish, like, I could just be on the poster board, not the poster board, but like the board game of Candyland. That's what I feel like I want to be in right now. Like, pose. Pose. 
or just like a photo shoot or something because <laughs> I'm in love with this look right now. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I had fun doing it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! A few words of wisdom. Don't try to straighten your hair. This thing. Yeah, don't try to... <laughs> don't try to straighten your wig. Oh, God. Because you're going to end up with this. Right here. <laughs> Beautiful hair. And it melts like this. And my sister said it looks like melted cotton candy. I guess that goes with the candy candy girl look. But don't try to do that. You're gonna end up bald. Well, what do candy girls talk like? Do they have a squeaky something voice like this? <laughs> How about like this? Do candy girls talk like this? Girl to you. Maybe I should have a British accent. I don't really know if this is British, but I am trying very hard. Maybe it's Irish. I don't really know, but I like how I look. And my wig. I burned it before. <laughs> but it's alive. But it's not gonna get straight anytime soon. <laughs> I wish you were straight, that would have looked nice. Pippi Longstocking! <laughs>